as you navigate the mystical path of Twin Flame, you may find yourself standing at the threshold of transformation, gazing into the mirror of your Twin Flame's eyes. In that reflection, you'll catch glimpses of your highest potential, your deepest fears, and the radiant light of your authentic self. In the dance of Twin Flames, every step forward is a step towards wholeness, every challenge an opportunity for growth, and every moment of connection a chance to touch the divine. As you release what no longer serves you, you create space for the universe to fill you with gifts beyond your wildest dreams. When you encounter your Twin Flame, it's as if the universe has orchestrated a cosmic dance, inviting you to waltz through the corridors of your soul. This ethereal journey may feel like stepping into a kaleidoscope of emotions, where familiar patterns dissolve and new, vibrant designs emerge. You might sense a stirring in the depths of your being, a gentle whisper that grows louder urging you to shed the layers of illusion that have long shrouded your true essence. Remember, dear soul, that in the grand tapestry of existence, your twin flame connection is a thread of pure light, weaving you both into the fabric of universal love and consciousness. Now, let's explore what twin flames may lose and gain on this extraordinary journey. As you step into the radiant light of your twin flame connection, you may find yourself losing the comfortable shroud of illusions that once cloaked your true self. This process, while liberating, can feel like standing exposed in a hall of mirrors each reflection revealing a different facet of your being that you've long kept hidden. This unveiling can be both exhilarating and terrifying. You might lose the safety of your carefully constructed identity, the one that's helped you fit in, succeed, or simply survive. Perhaps you'll bid farewell to the mask of the perpetual people pleaser the armor of the invulnerable warrior, or the veil of the mysterious enigma. As these fall away, you might feel naked, vulnerable, and unsure. But, dear soul, what you gain in return is priceless. In losing these illusions, you gain the freedom to be unapologetically, gloriously you. It's like stepping out of a costume you've worn for so long that you forgot it wasn't your skin. Suddenly you can breathe deeply, move freely and express yourself authentically. This process of unveiling may feel uncomfortable at times. You might stumble as you learn to walk without the crutch of your old identities. But with each step, you'll feel lighter, freer, more aligned with your soul's purpose. Remember, dear one, that in losing the veil of illusion, you're not losing yourself, you're finding yourself. You're not becoming someone new, you're unveiling who you've always been beneath the layers of conditioning and fear. So stand tall in your newfound nakedness of spirit. Let your true colors shine brightly. For in losing the illusion, you gain the ultimate truth, the divine reality of who you are. As you embark on the transformative journey with your twin flame, you may find the comfortable cocoon of familiar relationships beginning to unravel. This process, while potentially painful, is akin to a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis, necessary for your spiritual growth and evolution. You may notice that some of your long-standing friendships start to feel different. 
Conversations that once flowed easily might now feel strained or superficial. Activities you used to enjoy together may lose their appeal. It's not that these friends have changed, it's that you have. Your vibrational frequency has shifted and not everyone will be able to match this new rhythm. This can feel like a profound loss. These are people who have been with you through thick and thin, who know your history, who have been a part of your story. Watching these connections fade can feel like losing a part of yourself, like chapters of your life are being erased. But dear one, remember that in this apparent loss, you're gaining something invaluable. As old friendships fall away, you create space for new connections that resonate with your evolving self. It's like clearing out your closet. Yes, it can be hard to let go of old favorites, but it makes room for new pieces that fit who you are now. Think of it as a cosmic sorting process. The universe is helping you align with souls who match your new frequency, who can support and understand your twin flame journey. These new connections often come with a sense of instant recognition, as if you've known each other for lifetimes, and perhaps you have. This shift in your social landscape also brings a valuable lesson in non-attachment. As the Buddha taught, attachment is the root of suffering. By learning to let go of relationships that no longer serve your highest good, you're practicing a profound spiritual principle. You're learning to love without clinging, to appreciate connections for what they are in the moment without trying to force them to be something they're not. Remember, this process doesn't mean you have to cut off all your old friends abruptly some relationships may evolve along with you. Others may take a back seat for a while, only to resurface later in a new form. Trust the natural ebb and flow of connections in your life. As you navigate this shift, be gentle with yourself and others. Honor the role each person has played in your journey, even if your paths are now diverging. Express gratitude for the lessons, the memories, the growth that each relationship has brought you. In the end, what you're losing is the limitation of familiar comfort zones. What you're gaining is the expansiveness of authentic connections, the freedom to be fully yourself in your relationships, and a social circle that supports and enhances your spiritual journey. So spread your newly formed wings, beautiful butterfly. The world is wide and new soul connections await. In losing the old cocoon of familiarity, you gain the entire sky as your playground. As you journey deeper into the realm of twin flame connection, you may find yourself shedding the heavy cloak of material attachments. This process of letting go while liberating can initially feel like losing your anchor in the physical world. Imagine yourself as a hot air balloon tethered to the ground by numerous ropes. These ropes represent your attachments to material possessions, status symbols, and societal definitions of success. As the flame of your twin flame connection grows stronger, it heats the air in your balloon, creating a powerful upward pull. One by one, the ropes begin to snap, freeing you to soar to new heights. This release of material excess might manifest in various ways. Perhaps you'll feel compelled to declutter your living space, donating or selling items that once seemed essential but now feel like unnecessary baggage. 
you might find yourself less interested in acquiring the latest gadgets or designer labels. The pursuit of a bigger house, a fancier car, or a more prestigious job title may suddenly seem hollow and unfulfilling. As you loosen your grip on these material tethers, you may experience a sense of loss. After all, these possessions and achievements have long been part of your identity, symbols of your success and security in the world. Letting them go can feel like losing a part of yourself, like stepping out of a familiar costume into the unknown. But oh, the lightness of being that awaits you. In releasing these earthly attachments, you gain a profound sense of freedom. It's like taking off a heavy backpack you've been carrying for miles. Suddenly, you can move with ease, breathe more deeply, and see the world around you with fresh eyes. As you lose your attachment to material things, you gain the ability to enjoy them without being enslaved by them. You learn to appreciate the beauty of objects without needing to possess them, to celebrate achievements without deriving your self-worth from them. The shift in perspective brings a new kind of wealth, the richness of experience, the abundance of the present moment. As you lose interest in accumulating more stuff, you gain the capacity to fully engage with life. You might find yourself more attuned to the simple pleasures, the warmth of sunlight on your skin, the melody of birdsong, the taste of a home-cooked meal shared with loved ones. Moreover, this release of material excess often leads to a deeper connection with your true values. As you peel away the layers of societal conditioning around wealth and success, you uncover what truly matters to you. Perhaps you'll discover that your heart sings not for a corner office, but for the freedom to pursue creative passions. Maybe you'll realize that your soul craves not a mansion, but a cozy space filled with love and laughter. In losing attachment to external markers of success, you gain the opportunity to redefine success on your own terms. You learn that true wealth lies not in what you own, but in who you are and how you love. Your worth is no longer measured by the size of your bank account or the prestige of your job title, but by the depth of your compassion the authenticity of your relationships and, and the positive impact you have on the world around you. Remember, dear one, that this release of material excess is not about denying yourself pleasure or living in austere deprivation. Rather, it's about finding a balance, about enjoying the material world without being enslaved by it. So spread your wings, beautiful soul. As you release the ballast of material excess, watch how high you can soar. In losing these earthly tethers, you gain the entire sky as your playground and the freedom to explore the vast expanses of your spiritual potential. As you journey deeper into the twin flame connection, you may find yourself losing old, limiting self-concepts. This shedding of familiar identities can feel disorienting, like losing your bearings in the landscape of your own being. Yet in this apparent loss, you gain the most precious gift of all, a profound understanding of your true self. This process is akin to an archaeological dig into the depths of your soul. Layer by layer, you unearth hidden treasures of wisdom, strength and potential that have long been buried beneath the sediment of societal conditioning and self-doubt. Each discovery is a revelation, a piece of the cosmic puzzle that is your true self. 
as you lose the rigid definitions of who you thought you were. You gain the flexibility to explore the multifaceted nature of your being. Perhaps you'll discover artistic talents you never knew you possessed, or uncover a wellspring of compassion that transforms your relationships. You might find reserves of courage that empower you to pursue long buried dreams or tap into a vein of wisdom that allows you to navigate life's challenges with grace. This journey of self-discovery often brings surprising revelations. You might lose cherished beliefs about your limitations, only to gain the thrilling realization that you are capable of far more than you ever imagined. As you shed old fears and insecurities, you uncover a bedrock of inner strength that has always been there, waiting to be acknowledged. As you lose old, restrictive self-images, you gain a more expansive view of your place in the universe. You begin to understand that you are not separate from the world around you, but an integral part of the cosmic dance. This realization brings a profound sense of connection and purpose. As you uncover your authentic self, you gain clarity about why you're here and what you're meant to contribute to the world. This sense of purpose acts as a compass, guiding your decisions and actions from a place of inner truth. In losing the limitations of your old self-concept, you gain the entire universe of possibilities that exist within you. You trade the comfort of the known for the exhilaration of infinite potential. You lose the confines of a single, fixed identity and gain the freedom to be all that you are, complex, ever-changing, and gloriously alive. So dive deep, brave explorer of the soul. Let go of who you thought you were and open yourself to the wonder of who you truly are. For in losing the illusion of a limited self, you gain the reality of your vast, magnificent, divine nature. Your true self awaits, ready to be discovered anew each day. As you journey deeper into the twin flame connection, you may find yourself losing superficial notions of love and relationship. This shedding of surface level connections can initially feel like losing familiar ground in the landscape of your heart. Yet in this apparent loss, you gain access to the profound depths of love that have always existed within you waiting to be discovered. This journey into deeper love often begins with a deconstruction of your previous ideas about relationships. You might lose interest in casual dating or find that connections based solely on physical attraction or shared interests no longer satisfy you. It's as if you've tasted the nectar of true soul connection and nothing else can compare. This evolution of love often goes beyond the boundaries, including your twin flame relationship, rippling out to transform all your connections. As you lose the habit of conditional love, you gain the capacity to love more deeply and authentically in all areas of your life. Your relationships with family, friends, and even strangers may take on a new depth and richness. In losing the need for external validation or constant reassurance, you gain a love that is self-sustaining and ever-present. You learn to be a source of love rather than always seeking it from others. This shift brings a profound sense of inner peace and completeness. Remember, dear one, that this journey into deeper love is not about achieving a perfect relationship 
or a constant state of bliss. It's about embracing the full spectrum of human experience with an open heart. It's about learning to love fiercely and freely without conditions or expectations. In losing superficial notions of love, you gain access to love's true essence, a force so powerful it can transform not only your life, but the world around you. You trade the limited confines of ego-based love for the boundless expanse of soul-level connection. You lose the fear of getting hurt and gain the courage to love with your whole being. So dive deep, brave explorer of the heart. Let go of everything you thought you knew about love and open yourself to its infinite possibilities. For in losing the illusion of limited love, you gain the reality of love's vast transformative power. True love awaits, ready to be experienced in ever deepening ways each day. As you traverse the twin flame path, remember that every loss is a gateway to greater gain. Each challenge is an invitation to rise higher, to love deeper, to shine brighter. Your journey is a sacred pilgrimage to the temple of your own heart. In moments of doubt, turn to nature for solace and wisdom. Let the trees teach you about rootedness and reaching for the sky. Let the rivers show you how to flow around obstacles. Seek out the company of fellow twin flame travelers for in their stories, you'll find echoes of your own. Dedicate yourself to becoming the best version of you, not for your twin flame, but for the joy of self-realization. Practice forgiveness like a daily meditation, releasing resentments that weigh down your spirit. Keep your heart open even when it feels vulnerable, for it is through an open heart that the universe pours its blessings. So. Embrace the losses, for they are but the shedding of old skin. Celebrate the gains, for they are the blossoming of your soul. And above all, savor every moment of this cosmic dance with your twin flame. For in this dance, you are both the music and the dancers, creating a love story that echoes through eternity.